I figured the spring won't come to be. I'm going to melt the snow myself. So, today we're going to be working on the armature, but I have to get rid of the snow and ice. I'm going to water this down and then we can get out this armature and that's what we're going to take apart today. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy uh, this episode. So we got the snow cleared out. It's actually melting quite fast right now. Uh, we're hitting 20 degrees Celsius. And I've lifted it up with the aid of the engine hoist. And we put it on these 40 year old saw horses. I can't see any problem with that, can you? Perfect. So now we're going to make some strategic cuts. Now you can better see what I was talking about. From, the, from here to there. So I'm sure it's coiled up. I'm sure it's probably from here to there thick. Actually, angles. I don't know if I can get you guys to see this. Yeah, there you go. And there it angles. So there's a lot of copper in there. Can't ignore that. So we'll start making some cuts. So I cut through the uh, armature over here, like I said. I was just getting straight to metal. I started examining, measured from the flange back, two and a half inches. So then I turned around, took the grinder, cut that piece of metal off. But I thought I could cut the whole works with the grinder. But the problem is, is even with the small grinder, I'm hitting more copper to try and get the copper out. And it's not working. So I went over to the hardcore toy store and picked up these Diable blades. And... Uh, got a 25 pack and they say 20% off so hey I got five free blades so they say I don't believe them but anyways we're gonna cut this thing up and get this copper out So we got through that and now I'm hoping I can just loosen this up like that and then pry this away. Now I've pushed that out. This thing's not coming off. That is just not coming off at all. What I decided to do is I'm gonna cut right here. Then that will pop off that way. This should come down this way. 
and I think I'll be the quickest. I'll be back. So we got that one pack off the armature and there it is. The plan worked out perfectly, cutting it in the corner. It slid right out. Well, I shouldn't say it slid right out. There was a little bit of, but nothing like the other motors have been. So anyways, I would say a cardboard box is probably a pound, pound and a half, which is insignificant. Look at that. 57.75 pounds. If copper is still the same price as last time I went, that was $4.15 for 239.66. Now there's three more packs to do. So multiply that, that's almost um, a thousand dollars, I guess, 950, 60, something like that. I don't know. 960, yeah. But still, that's amazing. There is a winter storm brewing. And uh, it's starting to roll in. I'm going to work as late as I can because I'd like to get all four packs off. One down, three to go. But I won't be recording the rest of it. Um, I'll just come and do a final total uh, once it's all out and hopefully I get it done before the winter storm well this is interesting honestly I didn't do anything I guess the house uh, right behind that fire truck filled up with natural gas and uh, I guess they're waiting for the boom or something. So I managed to get two of those packs off that armature before the snowstorm hit. Two more to go. But basically all we have to do is double these numbers and we'll get you the um, how much copper should be in that stator or armature I should say and uh, but I will update next week when I get them off just to be transparent and show you exactly what was in that armature 118.6 pounds uh, hopefully copper is at the same price as it was before four dollars and fifteen cents a pound at a whopping total of 491.15 so it means if the other two packs weigh the same we're almost at a thousand bucks um so i released that video yesterday and i had a plan i was going to try okie dokie's method and then i said well, if that doesn't work i'll cook it but you guys you bleep blooped in the comments saying hey hold the hold the phone just cut the other end off poke it through with a a punch Oh, I guess you don't even know what I'm talking about. That motor, that motor, that small motor that was inside the bonus motor. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. You guys said, hey, poke that through. You won't have an issue. So that's what I'm going to do. Because I always do what I'm told. Just ask Mrs. Jug to. Maybe don't ask her. But anyways, so we're going to get this thing set up on Big Bertha. Cut her off. I think I might find a place out in the sun. I don't know. It would be nice, eh, to be out in the sun? It would. You know, it's only like minus four or something today. Why not? At least the sun will be warm. Here I am rambling on. You guys don't care. Well, maybe you do. I shouldn't say that. Okay, anyways, we're not getting anything done doing this, so... Off to Bertha. Woo! That's off. So that's great. 
I'll get this set up and uh, start pounding this shit out. Okay, so we're all set up outside in the sun. Save some money on the propane. And, uh, you know, just go ahead and start pounding on these. So, this ain't coming out. It took me like two hours to take out those eight spaces. So tonight, we're having barbecue copper. So now that it's thoroughly cooked, we're gonna take this off, put it on our little bench, and pop the copper out. So, this should go well. So I'll finish cleaning this up and we'll weigh this up. So, we got the bonus motor all done up. I'm just about to add the uh, balance. Here we go. So the bonus motor, 54.2 pounds at uh, 415 a pound, if that's what the price is. Um, who knows? It goes up and down. So anyways, the price for the bonus motor, 224.93. That was a nice chunk. See you next weekend.